Morning. Morning. Good morning. Lovely day to be doing some punting on the river. On a very pleasant late winter morning, representatives from the most important section of society, celebrities, gather on the banks of the River Thames to begin a journey. I've heard rumours of Olympians, just got me quite excited. If I'm in a race, I, I want to win it, yeah. I'm, I'm not here to come second, but realistically, I might, I might be there. These stars had been summoned by a knight of the realm and one of his former lieutenants to enter uncharted water in a charity race from Putney to Hammersmith in aid of Cancer Research UK. So I rode for about 20 years, you rode for, what, 50? So what's your tactics going to be as a coach? Pick the best rowers. But you know about rowing, it's not about how good your, your best rowers are in the crew, it's how good the worst one. You only go as fast as the slowest person. Who's going to go first? Rock, paper, scissors. One, one two, two, three. <laughs> for Redgrave, the selection strategy was simple. A good cox, followed by some who were just quite tall. Long levers, very useful in rowing as well as the odd pick simply for crew morale. Cracknell, though, decided on comedy in the driving seat and then put his faith in rhythm, coordination and some serious Olympic and Paralympic pedigree. <laughs> so with those crews of varying degrees of ability selected, it was time to get down to some hard rowing on dry land for now. So, as expected, Sophie Rayworth has got Terminator face on. Vernon looks quite strong. <laughs> Jones has got one hand. He's, look, he's actually rowing with one hand. Look at that. Jones, yeah. He's pretty much in the bag already. One, two, three. Big <laughs> Gettings' head is actually on that. This should be a warning to us. Dan Walker's trying to take us out one by one. Rivalry firmly established. A session on the water was calling. But first, some rather complex technical advice from James. That's the front there. <laughs> That's the back. <laughs> and there were early problems for Team Cracknell. Zoe Lyons is funny. But her lack of experience was putting the pink crew in trouble, and Hammersmith Bridge just came out of nowhere. So Cracknell played his ace, swapping Zoe for Great Britain Cox, Henry Fieldman. At the moment, we've got floating done, sitting, brilliant. In terms of rowing, racing, steering, work in progress. While over in Team Redgrave, another comic was finding the move from stand-up to sitting down and rowing rather difficult. So don't pause it, Mark. Just let the plate float. He feels he's holding everyone else back. He is but he needs to relax because that's the only, going to be the only way forward. We'll get there. We just need another couple of years. I think we are going to smash Team Redgrove out of the park. I'm just going to say it. Both boats are full of quite competitive people, so we're going to have to try our hardest. Once we unitard it up, we're going to be pretty unstoppable. We're not getting in a unitard, are we? Yeah. Have you not, have you not been told? Has no one told Jerry about the unitard? No, no one's about the only reason I came. Quite a few problems for me, actually. But the, the biggest problem is the rowing side of it. I can't really do it. Um, this is this is what happens to me a lot in my life, really. I, I was able to take the instructions, but just not replicate them like a human man normally would. Who's to that in your crew? I think well, the best thing is they're all so enthusiastic. If they can stay relaxed and we get conditions like this, they've got a chance of surviving. But one member has to do a lot more work, even to get to the start line. Relax the grip. I want to be able to snatch it out of your hand, right? I think I'm getting mad, guys. Guys? 